Okay, hello everyone. This is Victor Momo from Excel Moments, and this is a video response to a question I received. The user wanted to rename the first worksheet in multiple workbooks to the same name just to maintain some consistency. So, to try to simulate that, I have um, well, 10 workbooks in his own case, I think he had 30 or 40, but well, doesn't change much, right? I'm just going to open two of them. Uh, let's see. So you have the first one, it has a name D, C, X one has a name J, and I'm assuming I don't know what those names mean, but I want to um, rename all of them to maybe data, for example. Okay, so how would you do that? We're going to do this with Power Automate Desktop. But first of all, I'm going to walk you through in the thought process quickly, and then we get into Power Automate Desktop. So the first thing, of course, would be you know to get maybe a list of files in that folder, right? So I'm just saying get a list of um, I mean, I already know what I'm supposed to do. So, <laughs> then the next thing will be to look through the files, right? So you look through the files, and you loop, you would, um, of course, open the file, right? When you open the file, you would um, rename first worksheet, okay? And then you close the file. Of course, you should save. And yeah, done. So let's get into Power Automate Desktop and just recreate this. Okay, so come here. I'm going to do a new flow. I just call this um, a name first worksheet. Should take, who knows, 10, 15 seconds. Should be up and running. Well, taking slightly longer than I would expect. Okay, but yeah, we are done. Okay, good. So first thing would be to get a list of files in that folder. So we have get files in folder. So you can drag this to the canvas. Next thing is just to select the folder. I already know where my folder is. It's on my desktop and it's called rename worksheets. So I'm just going to scroll rename worksheets. Okay, that's the folder that has the 10 workbooks I'm interested in. Um, for the file filter, this is an event that you have other file types, maybe PDFs and some other things. But yeah, mine is, you know, as it should be, but I could just put a filter of, say, XLS, you know, just to ensure that I'm covered. Okay, so it's going to create a variable called files, and files is going to contain a list of all the files, in this case, workbooks in that folder, right? So that's the first thing. Okay, you could even run this just to see, you know, the output. Okay, so when you run that, okay, now you can see uh, the list in there, right? And its index starts from zero and goes all the way to nine in this case, right? So now the next thing is we're going to loop, right? We're going to loop through each of those files. We already have the files in that variable called file, so now we're going to loop, okay? So this is the loop. Now, because... That files variable uses a zero index. I will start from zero, right? Then end at what? I would end at files.count, but not just files.count. It's going to be files.count what minus one. Okay, so I can cater for, you know, um, that extra variable that will be created if I use files.count. Okay, so this is going to be from zero to files.count minus one and increment by what? By one. And the variable for looping here is called loop index. I'm just going to leave the defaults as is, okay? Right, so I do save. So now everything that should happen to each of those files should happen within this loop, between the loop and the end. So what am I going to do? For each of them, I'm going to open Excel and open the file and then rename and then close, okay? Doesn't sound like the most efficient thing to do, but easy to follow. So I'm going to launch Excel within the loop right and i'm not going to open a blank document i'm going to open a specific document i'm going to open of course starting with the first file in that folder so i'm saying open the following document now where is that document stored i already know that the files variable the files variable that we created has you know my file part already so i can pull up the files variable right but this is not enough because this is going to give me all you know the files in that folder i need first one in this case. So I can use the variable loop index, right? Loop index will start at zero, okay? 
So when I do files of zero, that will open the first file. By the time you go through that cycle, loop index becomes one, it goes to the next two and so on, okay? And this is really what we need. We do save, okay? So now we've launched the file, we've opened it, we now need to rename the worksheet. So I'm going to pull rename Excel worksheet. I'm going to just put that in here. That's the next thing. Okay. So the Excel instance is still the same. Now, are you renaming based on the name or based on an index? In this case, you are just interested in renaming the first worksheet. So it's based on the position. Irrespective of the name, you want to rename the first one. So rather than using name, we'll use index here. Okay. And now the worksheet index here is one. Now, this is something you need to get accustomed to. That some variables here have a zero index and some have one. If you look at the information you have to write here, you will see that the numbering starts from one. Okay, so one is your first worksheet, whereas in your file names, zero is your first file. But once you get used to it, you kind of know how to use the minus ones and plus ones to get around it. Okay, so now what's the new name you want? You want to have a new name called data right and you do save okay so that's really it then once you are done you want to close excel okay so let's just do close excel and you're closing of course that same instance right do not save the document or you want to save the document so that you can have your changes stored right okay so that's pretty much it once you are done with this we can run then we'll open the files and check if that works so let's run this we could save first of all um and then run okay so it's looping through open rename close open rename close um it's really nice of course when maybe you have well 40 50 yeah i may need to modify it slightly yeah but this will get me what i want for 10 at least this is definitely faster than renaming it one after the other with my hands though <laughs> yeah it could be faster than this yeah, but okay, so let's see. We should be almost done. Yeah, okay, so we are done. Right, so let's uh, launch Excel again. Let me just open. Oh, where's the folder? Yeah, okay, so let's just open two of them. Maybe the same two we opened initially. Let's see if we have, or we open three. Let's see if we have the new name as data. All right, so this one is data. Okay, this one is data. And this one is data. And that way you've renamed you know the first worksheet in multiple workbooks to the same name of course you can do this with vba but i decided to show you with power automate desktop so if you like this video please hit the like button you can also subscribe to the channel excel moments 50 more subscribers to get to 1000 50 more so please be that person <laughs> all right so for now I'm out.